It's like we, we, we got him here, sec. So I want to thank you all for joining us. This is the 9 o'clock hour. If you could, hit that like button to support us, to support Parker coming up. We'll let him plug all his socials and where you can find him, support him. Um, it, it seems – do we got him? Let, let, let's, uh, let's kick this off. Parker let's Gabriel, can you hear us? Hey, Parker, are you there? Are you hey, what's here? up, guys? How oh, are you hey. hear me? Perfect. Yep. We can hear you, Parker. How are you doing? What's going on? How are you doing? Thanks for bearing with us. Good. How are you guys? Getting through this. We're doing very well. Very well. Um, we just introduced you to everyone, Parker, Gabriel, and confirm. Make sure all this is correct. I know we pulled this together pretty last minute, but you're the beat reporter and beat writer for the Denver Post covering the Denver Broncos. Is that accurate? And is there anything else that you have on your resume that you would like to share? <laughs> nope. That's the big one, at least as far as this conversation is concerned. Uh, yeah. Denver Post. Um and yeah, we've been covering an interesting season out here in Denver. Uh, it has been interesting. <laughs> yeah. It has been interesting for you guys. We, we have a lot we're, we're interested in. The first question I'm going to ask you, um, and I'm going to start as, as Lions people here in Detroit. Uh, last season, we started, we, we witnessed this team start one in five. And we had our owner, Sheila Hamp Ford, uh, speak to the fans, come out and say, hey, trust this process, trust these coaches. The Lions did lose their next game, the sixth. But after that, they went on a run, eight and two, and have sort of been clicking, except for the last couple of weeks, clicking on all cylinders ever since. I want to ask you, I know the Denver Broncos started slow this year, even had a, a pretty crushing 70 point, uh, or, or Miami Dolphins put up 70 on you. It seems that you've completely turned it around. You're one of the hottest teams in the NFL. Was there a moment or anything that happened, anything you can point to that, that turned this around for your Denver Broncos? Well, I mean, the, the biggest thing that happened was that they, they made a series of moves um, defensively. You know, they, they ended up – it was kind of piece by piece, but they ended up swapping out, I think, four or five starters. And, and the, you know, the new defensive coordinator, Vance Joseph, who formerly was the head coach – uh, in Denver, um, they sort of they found their footing and they turned from being an historically bad defense into you know one of the best in the NFL yes. really in the span of a couple weeks. Um, and it was it was pretty remarkable. But it's funny that you mentioned that that slow start last year for Detroit because you know Sean Payton um, was in he was an assistant with the Giants when uh, Dan Campbell got drafted in 1999. Played for him in New York. Played for him in Dallas played for him in New Orleans and then obviously coached several years in New Orleans with him before he got the Detroit job. And Sean actually sort of said when they were one and five, he's like, well, you know, Detroit was one and six last year and they got it going. And like, wow. that's an easy thing to say when you're one and five, but now here we are, you know, eight weeks later and they've actually sort of done uh, what Detroit did last year. And that was an example that Peyton pointed to, you know, several weeks ago of, yeah, but look, this could still be on the table for Denver. Yeah, well, that, that's what makes a lot of people nervous here in Detroit. We, we remember what we felt like as Lions people last season. Now you guys are coming the to town. Change. Yes, yes, yes. Booner. And, and Parker, I do want to ask you too, you mentioned kind of Sean Payton there a little bit. Um, and, and I know kind of it feels like the last 12 months in, in Denver there has been kind of crazy <laughs> um, the, with the coaching change. Um, kind of just looking from last year, going 5-12, and 12, kind of to this year, six of the last seven games. Has, what has Sean Payton kind of changed, that Denver team there? Because going into Saturday, I, I, I could kind to speak for people in Detroit I think we're all kind of a little I wouldn't say a little nervous to where it's like we know what Sean Payton is and the team he has what has that culture change been like kind of in this offseason uh, with Sean Payton yeah it's been interesting because you know they've been better offensively this year um, than they were last year and obviously Sean Payton has a lot to do with that um, he's got Russell Wilson playing not at an all pro level maybe like the heyday in Seattle but much more akin to the Russell Wilson that we just sort of, you know, got used to seeing over the last decade uh, compared to, you know, the train wreck all around last year. And so, like, that's one thing. And, and Sean definitely has, you know, his fingerprints on that and the improvement there and all that. The, the biggest thing that's happened that's turned this season around is what Vance Joseph and the defense has done. But I think to your question, like, overall, there's just a sense of, like, you guys, you know, this is, this is it's sort of Denver specific, but before Sean Payton, you know, Nathaniel Hackett was a first-time head coach. And before him, Vic Fangio was a first-time head coach. And before him, Vance Joseph was a first-time head coach. So they'd gone that route three times in a row in the hiring process. And I think the thing that happened when Sean Payton got hired was just the simple fact of like, oh, yeah, this guy's won 152 regular season games in the NFL, and he has a Super Bowl championship. 
it might have been a long time ago. Uh, you know, it's still there's a lot of good coaches in the NFL and the AFC. You're not going to say like, oh, right back to having the best or something like that. But just to have somebody that knows exactly what he wants to get done every day, exactly how to structure practice, how he likes travel, all this sort of stuff. Like, it's just not something that the organization here has had in a long time. Um, and so I think even just that, even the like, I've won a lot of games in the NFL and I know what I'm doing, yeah. um, has been sort of a breath, breath of fresh air and has helped the Broncos, you know, sort of weather the storm early in the season and think like, well, this guy knows what he's doing. You know, we'll get it going eventually. Yeah, I, I, I was sort of thinking as you were talking, I, I couldn't remember, you're talking about coaches turning around teams. Were you talking about Sean Payton or Mike Malone with the Denver Nuggets? He's done, done some good work there <laughs> yeah, for your right. Nuggets. Um, and I know Booner's about to ask uh, about Russell Wilson, more game stuff, but I just want a, a quicker answer from you. What Being in Denver, what what do you think about the Detroit Lions? What do Denver fans, Denver media, what do you think of us? We're 9-4, and four, but we're on a little tough streak right now. What are the what are the vibes out there, as, as Booner will say sometimes? Yeah, no, I mean, I think it, I think you I think it's a it's a tough matchup, right? I mean, you're going on the road. It's it's Denver's third straight game away from home, um, and it's against the division leader, right? I mean, right. I think you look at you know the Broncos beat both Green Bay and, and Chicago this year, and so it's like easy to look at the last three weeks and say, oh, are the Lions struggling a little bit? What's the deal defensively? Uh, all of that, but like end of the day, it's a it's a nine and four football team that has a vice grip on a division. Um, and as much as anything, it's trying to get some stuff straightened out before they play in the playoffs, whereas the Broncos are, you know, sort of fighting for their playoff lives every week. And so um, certainly, like, I think there's a sense that the Broncos can win the game, but I don't think you, you find many people out here that are saying, like, oh, they're struggling, this will be a breach or something like that.